Today we are going to try on wedding dresses. I am picking up Shelby. We are going to two different bridal stores. The first one is Viero Bridal in Pasadena. Um, and they have some cute ones. So we're going there first. And then after that, we are going to Lavella in Glendale, which everyone and their mom has been to. And we're going there because there is a specific dress that I have been wanting to try on for so long. It's by the designer Ines de Santo. I don't know how to say her name, but she has the most insanely beautiful dresses. I did my hair kind of different today. I always have it down when I go to dress appointments, but that's not how I want to have it on the day. I want to have it like in some kind of like half up or like something, you know, something more fun. Um, you're falling a little bit. Yeah, I just did something a little bit different. I don't really know if I like it. Whenever I do these like little pigtail looking things, I feel like a little kid. So it doesn't matter. We're running late. We have to get there in 45 minutes. It's 45 minutes away. I don't know where to park. And I told Shelby I would be there in one minute. So we are going to have a fun day. I'm actually really excited. We're having a little double feature going to two. We usually just go to one. We are going to Tartine in Pasadena. Tartine is like one of my favorite little restaurants. I don't know if you could even call it a restaurant. It's like they sell like pastries and they have like a little menu of like breakfast and lunch. So a restaurant. Um, and Shelby's never been there, so it's gonna be fun. I'm out of breath, I don't know why. I'm nervous. I'm actually looking to buy now. I'm not just like looking to like shop around. So yeah, I will update you when we get there. If you like them, you wanna try them on, we're gonna pull them to the fitting room. Okay. If not, we can skip to a different option. Great. Okay. Ava, gown, I love that. Uh, so uh, do you wanna try this one on? I would love yeah. to. Oh, that is so so there was music playing during my entire appointment and I realized I couldn't use the audio of us talking about all the dresses so you get a voiceover instead. And shout out to Shelby for literally being amazing and taking video and photo every time I have appointments. She's the best. So this first dress was the Kendall. I was pleasantly surprised by this dress. I loved the little V front around the waist area and how the top was sheer. It was probably like a 7 out of 10 for me. I love the deep back. I loved the shape of this dress. I just wish it were strapless and I know that's hard to do with a really low back. But yeah, this was overall a really pretty option. The next dress was the Aria. This one I didn't pick out beforehand. We just picked out when we got to the bridal salon and I wasn't in love with it. I don't really love a mermaid style dress anymore. I thought I did, but I just don't really like it on my body. And this is more of a blush color when I was looking for like more of a bright white or at least an ivory. I just didn't think it looked good on me overall. And I wish, again, it were strapless with a deeper back. So overall, just didn't really love the dress and wanted to see more options that were more my style. So this next dress was the Galaxy. I was shocked by how much I loved this dress. We picked it out as soon as we got to the store and I hadn't seen it online beforehand, but I loved the way it fit on me. I loved the corset top. I didn't mind that it didn't have a very deep back. I actually really liked the overall sparkle of the dress, even though that's not really my vibe, but this was probably my second choice overall. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. This next one is the dress that I originally came for. It's called the Ava. It comes with detachable sleeves that I'll put on in a second. Oh, there they are. But I was in love with this dress. There was a few changes I would definitely want to make. I was talking to them about it here, but I would like to, I've said this a million times, but I would like to have a low back if possible, but I'm learning that that is 
almost close to impossible with a corset top. You just really need the support on top. So they were telling me you can do that with illusion fabric and there's different ways to do it. I also was asking if I could have more of a sheer skirt since this fabric was a little more opaque. But overall, I was really happy with it. That doesn't typically happen when I see something I love online versus in person, but it was hard to take this one off. I could definitely see myself wearing at least something like this on the day. It was probably a strong eight out of 10 for me. this last dress is the one that I originally saw online that made me find out about Viero and in the photo I fell in love with it it looked amazing on the model wearing it but once I put it on I knew it wasn't right for my body type the waistline looked weird obviously the cup size is way too big on me so it's just very awkward looking but it was an easy decision for me this just wasn't the one overall I really loved the store the bridal assistants were so sweet and helpful and I might be going back for a second appointment. Enjoy that footage of me cleaning my hands. My sister said you look like a princess in one of the dresses oh. I showed <laughs> Okay, honestly, this is really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this fit is like more what you want. I just like how much it like fits, you know, instead of yeah. just like sitting on top of me. The really sleeves like are also really nice because they're a lot more sheer yeah. than the other ones. Yeah. It's sad and I am. This is really hard. Gonna re tighten. The sleeves a little bit more. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. You could have it stop right before the back opens up. Like That's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, oh my god, see, you have the face. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, I really like this. It is like literally so beautiful. Oh. Take like a baby step forward. Oh. Right there. Perfect. Or it actually has like the low back that you. Oh. It kind of has like. I know. Video of you really quick. Okay. Can you take like a million pictures of you on here? I literally cannot. I'm so confused. Face me. I really like this veil. Like I love this. It's yeah. So pretty. Very dreamy. It's like the perfect backdrop to everything. Yeah. With the silhouette like this too, you may just need to take a while for your eye to adjust to it. I like how long the sleeves are too. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, the I silhouette looks really like on you. Like, I mean, it really does. Also, I really like the really long veil. Yes, <laughs> me too. Because you can still see the dress. Yeah. Is it possible to make like the slip underneath a little bit more sheer? Like of the actual dress? Yeah. Yeah, you could essentially what you could have them do is remove some of these. It's about the color of the dress itself. I, I like it. I yeah. think it's like white enough. Okay, like, oh yeah, perfect, yeah. 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 What you really don't like is when it's like cream I or like yeah. cream or plain. Like blush. Yeah. This like is super like, obvious. Yeah. This is like white enough. And it's like a nice color on you instead of like a super like optic like. Yeah. It's really like just this <laughs> one right here that's giving it the tone. The rest of the dress is ivory, so that's why it still feels like really white. Oh, okay. Um, But you could potentially maybe see if they could like cut like here down in one of the liners to just to make it a little bit more opaque and then so maybe add something i could grab like a little like piece of like ribbon or that just to see but you could always have them do two is whatever leftover like, they have from the hand you can have them make something like that and you can play around with it and decide whether you want to do it or not yeah but i feel like it's just meant to 
I, I do like it. I If I could like imagine it with like more of a sheer material underneath, mm -hmm. then I think it would probably be like a 9 out of 10 for me. But okay, maybe I should try the other yeah, one. Yeah, let's try some more on <laughs> and we'll see how we're feeling. We can circle back Thank to her you. if we need Perfect. to. Thank you. And is this mesh, like, does it come in different colors? So, I believe it stays more that porcelain color there, other than, like, a deeper mocha. Something I don't love about it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the design. Could be the detail. It's definitely more bold than the yeah. one we just took off. That's true. Yeah, I think the design is just getting me. I don't mm -hmm. think I really like it. On the leafier side, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think that's what it is. The other one, I think overall the detail's just a lot more unique. Like, you yeah. really don't see that kind of yeah. dress. Yeah, it's a more fitted, too. This yeah. is a little more like on top of me instead yeah. of like fitting to me. And it, obviously it would be different once I, you know, ordered it. Yeah. But I'm just like seeing it. I, yeah. I do think the tank is from the other one. Yeah, the other one. Okay. So All right. I'll just try the next one. The sleeves on this one are really pretty. Yeah, the sleeves are really pretty. Honestly, this one is really pretty. It kind of is. I like. This is like definitely more on the romantic end of it. Yeah, it's really cute. You could close it yeah. up. You could even, I mean, again, build it up. Yeah. So that it feels a little bit more fluid with like just more flowers oh, and cute. lace there yeah. down the center. So that way it still like, adds some. Yeah. So it's like our fight that we constantly have where I think you look good in straight neck locks <laughs> and you don't. Do you <laughs> I think the only other thing I'm missing is that the other backs were like so yeah. deep. It comes down to a little bit of a V, which I think yeah. still looks really pretty. It's yeah. definitely, of course, not as low as the original one, but. The size the shape. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really I'm gonna grab a somewhere off and I'll be right back. Great, thank you. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like exactly. Everybody was gonna be chaotic because I know the whole thing, like. <laughs>
it gives you drama without it having to be like a mermaid mermaid gown, yeah, which I think exactly. is soft. It's easy to walk in still. Yeah. Do you want to see like the full length? Do you have a veil? Oh yeah. Yeah. Can I try that? Thank you. She knows. Like, I'm like, honey, do you want the veil? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I love this veil. Yeah. Like, I love this veil. When <laughs> you put the veil on, we've decided I'm... on the veil. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing you in a wedding dress is like, yeah, you're getting married. But when you put the veil on, it's like, oh my goodness. Before you get married, we have to practice me like fluffing your dress. In the <laughs> the best my shape. nightmare is that I don't fluff it right, and then in the pictures, you're like, I wish my dress was fluffed <laughs> right. There's someone. No pressure. <laughs> Should we try dress number one on again? Yeah, I yeah. Think so. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's yeah, just so pretty. Let me take a video of the back. Okay. Do the Gigi Hadid where like, I, I, just as I'm doing it, you like pull your hair back. <laughs> 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 Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the dresses I tried on on this day. I was absolutely obsessed with this dress. This is the one that I came for. I was just as happy with it in person as I was with it online. I was in love with the low back. This is something I've been looking for in all of the dresses I've been trying on and I haven't been able to find. And I also love the strapless sleeves. I think it's just gorgeous. I was hesitant to put this dress in the vlog because I might very well end up with this one, but it wasn't exactly a 10 out of 10 for me there were a few minor changes i would like to make but overall i was obsessed with this i didn't want to take it off i tried it on twice and i was extremely happy with how it looked on me the next dress i tried on it was gorgeous but it just felt a little bit like a dupe of the first dress it was stunning i just there were certain things i didn't like about it and i honestly didn't know how to put it into words it just felt like it was sitting a little bit on top of me but overall super pretty This next one I tried on, immediately I knew it wasn't the one for me. I just don't really love the deep V. I think it's just a little bit unflattering on me, but the design was super pretty. I loved the train and the sleeves were a little bit different, but I also like those as well. This next dress was kind of a wild card. I didn't really know how to feel about the illusion mesh with the design running up the back. I thought the rest of the dress was so gorgeous and I loved the deep V, so I really appreciated her pulling another one of these for me. I just feel like the front of the dress wasn't very flattering. Again, it just kind of felt like one of those dresses that was sitting on top of me and I would have liked to be able to see it without the design on the illusion mesh over my shoulder and on my back but I think if I added a strapless sleeve like the first dress this could actually be a really good option. I also loved the mix of the beading and the tool. It's something I haven't really tried yet and I thought it looked stunning. next dress I kind of immediately knew again that I didn't love it there was something about the design that just felt really heavy or maybe it was just the fabric I didn't really love the back or the train it just wasn't my style overall 
This last dress I tried on was actually my second favorite. I loved the little corset top. I didn't love the design on the skirt, but I feel like I could have overlooked it. I really liked the design on this dress and I thought it looked really pretty on my body. I would have, again, added a sleeve to it, but I loved how you could see through the sheer corset, how the back looked, and again, the tool on the bottom was so pretty. So yeah, those were my final thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far and I will see you in the next one.